Drones are coming to the way you board airplanes. In fact, if the federal government has its way, it would have changed it more than 10 years ago. The Department of Homeland Security is rolling out what they're calling their real ID guidelines. Now, they're supposed to change what type of identification you use in order to fly. As Fox 43's Matt Mazel explains, Pennsylvania is one of a handful of states in which leaders are saying not so fast. There we go. Thank you. You may be ready to fly the friendly skies, but will the government allow you? Why is it taking so long? It's the government. I don't really know. Harrisburg International Airport spokesman Scott Miller is talking about real ID. It was a bill passed by Congress in 2005, not enacted for five years later, and still not fully functional today. The theory made sense back in 2010 to do this, I guess. It got passed. Now the question, have, is there a political capital to push this through? Essentially, the Real ID Act of 2005 requires states to enforce stricter license and ID standards. Terrorists, stay away. But Pennsylvania, along with 29 other states and four U.S. territories, aren't fully compliant yet. This includes California, Texas, New York, and Illinois, and with PA, five of the six most populated states. By total population, more than an estimated 215 million people currently do not have Real ID compliant driver's license. That's more than two-thirds of the entire country. Right now, all Pennsylvania citizens need to board a plane anywhere in the country is your boarding pass, and your driver's license. But in a few years, the government says that will change. When the Real ID Act was passed in 2005, it was supposed to have been deployed long before this date. Kurt Myers is a deputy secretary at PennDOT. He says Homeland Security allows Pennsylvania to keep delaying through extensions, but by October 1st, 2020, either you have Real ID or you'll need something TSA approved. That would be your uh, social security card, your birth certificate, um, as well as uh, additional residency documents. But Pennsylvania literally cannot become compliant thanks to a state law sponsored by State Senator Mike Fulmer of Lebanon County. That's my job to make sure that your rights aren't being violated. In 2011, Fulmer's Real ID Non-Compliance Act essentially prohibited the state from participating in the federal program. Then Governor Tom Corbett signed it into law in 2012. I think Pennsylvanians can see that that what I saw that what does this really achieve? Fulmer's concerns with a real ID card are many from security. Timothy McVeigh, the guy who bombed Oklahoma City, was a military veteran, valid U.S. citizen. How did that card keep him from bombing Oklahoma City? To privacy. It can be hacked. I mean, any, anybody can be hacked. You know that, and I know the Chinese do it all day long. And more. And then the central data banking of information and turning this card into something like you would see maybe in Nazi Germany, like, show me your papers, please, you know. And then there's the cost. According to Kurt Myers, implementing real ID licenses would cost the state 120 to 130 million dollars. And even though it's a federal mandate, he says only four million dollars would come from Washington, D.C. in the form of grants. Which is really just a drop in the bucket when you're talking about 120, 130 million. It is, that's correct. And that means a higher bill for taxpayers. So what happens now? Well, the Department of Homeland Security told me over the phone that they don't anticipate any changes. If Pennsylvania isn't compliant by October 2020, or you don't have an approved ID, tough. I have a hard time believing they're going to deny somebody boarding. They're going to prevent people from certain states from not being able to fly. It's going to be a very difficult thing to do. Fortunately for Scott Miller and HIA, that's still years away. And like a revolving door, some think the federal government is just going in circles. There's no guarantee that come 2018 or 2020 that at that point in time, uh, they will enforce uh, what they're what they're saying they will do today. Homeland Security already requires real ID in places such as federal buildings and nuclear plants like Three Mile Island. Most importantly, this will not impact anyone from Pennsylvania flying out of any airport today. But after the near unanimous sentiment against real ID five years ago, it doesn't appear local lawmakers will be making any changes anytime soon. Matt Mazel, Fox 43 News.